in terms of crime fiction, um, which is what I'm writing, uh, we always had one of the necessary parts of a, a crime novel. We always kept secrets, family gothic, Irish uh, families are legendary and the, the secrets we keep are also le legendary. So we have lots of skeletons in the closet and we've always had those. The kind of national motto used to be, uh, and it still is to some extent, whatever you say, say nothing. It's interesting about Irish people. We like to talk a lot and we're known for it, but we don't like to tell people anything. We like to keep secrets. So you can come away with a, from a conversation with an Irish person and realize, oh, that was great, but I actually can't remember anything he said, you know? I wrote plays before I wrote novels, and I used to write determinedly about the present when I was in my 20s and my 30s. I used to hate the kind of Irish writing that was always looking back, always talking about the way things used to be, because I was determined that Ireland was, should be seen as a modern country with more in common than anywhere else than the things that distinguished it, that kind of romantic old style uh, uh, image of Ireland. But one of the things that happens to you in life is that you get older. And as you get older, the past impacts on your present in, in, in various ways. And you begin to understand that maybe the amount you've changed is about as much change as you can handle. Maybe you are who you are and who you have are is the sum of your past.